Canada today represented by Simon Whitfield. He wears number 18. It's a challenging course. It really uh, showcases the best athletes in triathlon. The swim's rough swim. No holding back in the swim. There's no, uh, you have no weaknesses. The bike's a hard technical course. And the run's not just a flat track run. It's, it's got some hills and it's going to challenge people mentally. They're going to get ready to go and off they go. Looks like a clean start. Simon Whitfield is to the far left. He liked his position because he had clear water. One of the potential problems here, and we've all been through this, that the people that have done triathlon before, is that you can get beat up there pretty hard. Much different than swimming in a pool. There's arms and legs everywhere. It's quite often a few people get kicked. Sometimes you'll even see a broken nose or goggles. They are approaching the transition area. Craig Walton leading the way. But Simon Lessing of Great Britain is only three seconds back. They swim up onto the ramp and they begin removing their wetsuits as they make their way into the transition area. They must have all their equipment on. They must have the helmet on. They must have the chin strap attached before they are allowed to leave this area. We talked yesterday about the crowds lining the course. Look at the size of these crowds. I would think there might even be an excess of the half million people who watched the women's race yesterday. Oh, you can't even hear it down here. It's incredible. The people are going crazy. And I believe that Simon Whitfield was in very good position as he came out of the water. And he had a transition time of 21 seconds. And the word is that he is in sixth place. So Simon Whitfield is right up there as they move on to Macquarie Street for this 40K bike race. And There's Simon right in the middle. In the middle of an accident, Simon Whitfield got tangled up, and Simon Whitfield is able to get his bike out of that accident that took place. Now, how much time was lost, we will not know until they come into the transition area. But one of the major concerns with such a large chase pack, the possibility of an accident, and that's what happened. And this is where they move off the bikes and get set for the 10K run. And chaos can sometimes exist in this transition area when so many athletes are coming in at the same time. Simon Whitfield in 17th place. He is a minute and one second back through the transition. So that's he lost some spot. time, but not that badly considering the accident. Oh, that's that's actually a miracle for him to still be in 17th spot, only one minute back from the leaders. That means he's right in there with that chase group because the two leaders came in a minute up. So he's right in there. He's still in a medal contention. So that's great to hear. Great for Canada. It could be a three-person race to the finish here. Simon Whitfield just put his foot in front, moving into first position. There's three of them right there. They're going to battle the end. We've got just over a kilometer and a half to go. Simon Whitfield has put himself in a position for a medal, possibly even a gold. And Whitfield continues to hang in there just a couple of steps behind Vukovic. Now Vukovic went out pretty hard too on the run. We'll see if that cost him here. Simon's thinking about that. Well, Vukovic doesn't want to take any chances. He's decided to take his kick now. Is it too early? We don't know. We'll see if he fades. Whitfield has let him go. Whitfield has the capability to stay with him. This is part of his strategy. He's let Vukovic go to see if he's gone too early. He'll try and reel him in as they get closer. They are now moving close to the finish line. Simon's making his move. He's trying to reel him in. It's getting closer. They are going to run under the steps of the Opera House, and Simon Whitfield seems to be gaining ground with every stride. Simon Whitfield is Closing sprinting the gap. towards the finish line, trying to haul in Vukovic. Simon Whitfield is coming at him. Simon Whitfield is going to get it. Simon Whitfield has moved into the lead. Simon Whitfield racing to the finish line. This 25-year-old from Kingston, Ontario, so relaxed and composed this morning, he was signing autographs, laughing and talking to the spectators, and he is going to win the gold medal. Canada, Simon Whitfield, gold. Vukovic is going to finish in second place, and Simon Whitfield has provided Canada with its first gold medal of the Olympic Games as the sport of triathlon makes its debut. What an amazing win for Simon Whitfield, who came so close to disaster on the cycling course. Gold medal, Simon Whitfield. How does that sound? Uh, unbelievable. I, uh, I dreamed of this 
My entire life, I dreamed about winning a gold medal, and uh, it's happened today. And I can't tell you how proud I am and how proud I am to be Canadian.